you know, what really differentiates Kwai from all these other bridges and kind of cross-chain ecosystems and opportunities that are being presented to the world? So we know the future is multi-chain. Mm -hmm. The security in which the multi-chain future exists in now or will be is relatively uncertain. For Kwai, being multi-chain inherently as a modular protocol, we need that feature to be as robust as possible because that is one of the key things is if we need to get more chains and you want more inherent layer one block space, which is kind of different from like L2 block space and other things that rely on optimistic proof bridges and other things, which we also have seen are not the most robust things either in certain cases, then these decentralized bridges essentially need to encompass core security, right? Mm -hmm. And that's like the whole point of using a layer one, because as I said, for the layer two, if you say, okay, we're gonna go use Arbitrum and optimism and all of that, well, then you're subject to the security of the layer two as opposed to interacting on layer one. And right. so a lot of the benefit here is you're always going to be using layer one with these bridges and we can expand out horizontally as much as we need to mm -hmm. while inheriting that same base layer security.